Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with your five and five. Get up to speed on five topics in five minutes. Homebuyers now have more options for people to call for a concrete foundation evaluation and exam. The Connecticut Foundation Solutions Indemnity Company now offers a course to certify licensed home inspectors to perform foundation inspections. The inspection is a requirement for any possible future claim to the indemnity company for a crumbling foundation. Previously, only licensed engineers could perform the inspections. The indemnity company says the certification program looks to provide more accessibility to those seeking a foundation inspection. CTR President Dan Coyne says the program has many benefits. From the real estate agent's point of view, um, we need timely inspections done as per our contracts. I mean, we have a shortage of engineers that have been doing these things. We have some engineers that are taking six and eight weeks after the order to get you a report which that doesn't line up with how a real estate deal functions. By expanding the pool of people to do inspections, especially being the home inspectors, uh, most of us already hire a home inspection, uh, a home inspector uh, as a contingency of the contract. By opening this up and beginning to certify some home inspectors, it makes it a little easier for the agent. The foundation inspection assigns a severity code to the home, which the indemnity company uses during its claim application process. 25 home inspectors already completed the foundation inspections course. That list is available at crumblingfoundations.org. Another course is scheduled for later this month. Congress is a small step closer to a long-term extension of the National Flood Insurance Program. The House Financial Services Committee approved a five-year extension that includes a mandate to improve the nation's flood maps. It now goes to the full House and will also need approval in the Senate. Congress has passed 12 short-term extensions to that program since 2017. The National Association of Realtors is a major proponent of a long-term extension and reforms. This year marks the 50th anniversary of RPAC, and realtors across Connecticut are working hard to support RPAC's efforts this year. Several local boards and associations, such as the Litchfield County Board of Realtors, have held phone banks to reach out to members. The Valley Association of Realtors also held a recent phone bank. Other associations plan to hold them in the coming months. RPAC is a voluntary program that provides funds to support national and state candidates who support realtors' legislative positions. Connecticut Realtors continue to volunteer their time to help make improvements to their communities. The Valley Association of Realtors recently helped with a Habitat for Humanity build in New Haven. The volunteers built three exterior walls and then helped raise two of them into place throughout the day. The Greater Fairfield Board of Realtors also celebrated the completion of a community project funded by a placemaking grant from NAR. Board leaders and Fairfield town leaders cut the ribbon on a pocket park along the Ash Creek. The Greater Fairfield Board received a $1,900 grant from NAR to add benches to the area to help create a gathering space. This is the third year in a row the Greater Fairfield Board received an NAR placemaking grant. For links to the placemaking grant program, go to ctrealtors.com slash announcements. That is your 5 and 5. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.